Good afternoon. I'm James Stevens, the Chief of Department of Public Health and Preventive Medicine here at Ireland Army Health Clinic, Fort Knox, Kentucky. I want to talk to you a little bit about today about the COVID pandemic and our continued to fight against this illness. On January 21st, 2020, the CDC recognized the first COVID-19 case in the United States in the state of Washington. Since that time, we've had over 27 million cases with over 460,000 deaths. A couple of weeks ago, the U.S. actually hit its peak and we've been on the downtrend for cases, not just in cases and illnesses, but cases and deaths and cases and hospitalizations. This is good news. Everything we have been doing over this past year is finally starting to work and we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. However, along with this, because this has been a long fight, there have been some concerns for COVID fatigue, COVID complacency, and even some misunderstanding. I would like to share with you a few scenarios that we have seen over the past three weeks that lend me to those concerns. A person goes and gets tested because they have symptoms. They continue to have symptoms, don't have the result yet, but they continue to interact with other families, even with their children playing with the other children. By the time the person received their positive result, they had already infected, infected two other families and their children, which spread throughout the schools. Second scenario, a person came to this post to train. They had symptoms, went on the outside to get a test, had a positive test, but didn't want to miss training, so didn't tell anyone. That resulted in dozens of contacts to include multiple people being taken off their flights in order to be quarantined as contacts. We have had people who have gone to get testing because of symptoms, wait for their results, and go back to work while they're waiting for their results, come back positive, and they had just spent that time infecting all of their co-workers, causing a shutdown in services. We've had scenarios with parties in the barracks and houses resulting in numerous contacts that not only affected those people who were at the party, but also poured over into work when they went back to work the next week. Those scenarios described have just been in the last two weeks, and that is my concern. With this pandemic, we do know that things are turning in favor of completing our concern with this illness, but we are not out of the woods yet. And I want to make sure that everyone understands when you get tested or when you have symptoms, you still need to be concerned about this illness and think about the protection of those people that you love, that you work with. To this end, there are a few facts that I would like to put out there, things that we would like you to follow. For example, one, if you have symptoms and if you have been tested, please do not go to work, do not go to school, do not interact with other individuals or families until you know the result of your test. Because if you are positive and you're out there working or playing, you're infecting other people. If you have children that you have had concerns for the illness and they have had received a test, do not send your children to school or to other houses or to play with other children until you know the results of those tests. This will help slow the spread. If you yourself are sick, to the point where you go get tested, please, if you have school-aged children, keep them at home until you know the result of your test. They may have already been contacts, they may be already carriers, and we do not want to pass that throughout the schools. And please, do not have parties. We know this has been a long road, and we know that we are all tired of the pandemic but we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and I don't want us to get to the point where we go backwards in our illnesses. Our case rate is dropping, hospitalization is dropping, death is dropping. If we stop following all mitigating procedures right now, we are going to go backwards and we're going to go back to the same concerns we had in the past year. During this time period, as you all know, vaccines are out. The United States has given at least 33 million first doses of the vaccine. We are waiting for the second group to come through. The second shot, uh, once that is put out, and no, we do not have a date, I apologize. We do not have a date when those are coming. 
But once we get those second shots and more supplies, we are looking at the other 300 million in America. To include children, as several studies are looking at adolescents at this time and children at a later date. Basic hygiene. These things should not stop regardless of COVID-19, the flu, or any other illness. Making sure that you cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze or cough. Into your elbow is the most effective way. Wearing your mask. And when we talk about a mask, we talk about a mask covering the nose and mouth. Not dip down below the nose, not dip down below the mouth, not hanging off one ear, covering nose and mouth. Washing your hands, whether it be with an alcohol type solution or with basic soap and water. We want to make sure that your hands are completely covered in both water and soap or the alcohol solution so that you get all of the crevices. Remember, Soap is there to remove contaminant. So if you're looking for the lather, that should be your goal. If you just put a little soap on, rinse it underwater, you're not actually washing your hands. As you remember from kindergarten, all the other grade school scenarios, singing the ABCs, happy birthday, whatever you wish to do, but making sure you have a good lather on your hands and then rinsing your hands off. When you're with other people, try to maintain the six foot social distance. When we look at the droplets, when we cough or sneeze, yes, we have masks on, but we want to be doubly sure that we are not passing this to others. So the six foot distance is there to keep droplets from my mouth to get in on you or yours on me. Same with the mask. The mask is here to collect my droplets so that they don't get on you. We will get through this. We see the downtrend, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. Technology and medicine is catching up with the pandemic, but we want everyone to remain vigilant throughout this time. All I ask is patience. Continue these mitigating strategies and we will continue to see the drops in cases. The more cases that drop, the more we can open up and try to come back to a normal life. Thank you.